Sun and SP signed a new memorandum of understanding on this day, 25th July 2022. I understand that Emerson and SP's collaboration started way back in 2016 on digitalization. And now we have the Singapore Green Plan 2030. How did this foster closer collaboration between the two organizations? Jonas, maybe you can go first? Right, yeah. So uh, Emerson's uh, history, you know, working together with Singapore Polytechnics uh, goes uh, way back, you know, in teaching of uh, young students as, as well as uh, adult learners, you know. So uh, when SP approached us, you know, regarding, uh, you know, environmental sustainability and energy efficiency, yeah, we jumped on it because it's very close to uh, our uh, Emerson uh, values as well, you know, because uh, helping our customers with uh, energy uh, efficiency and in environmental sustainability is a very large part of what we do. So it's a natural fit, really. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, so what about Tuan Lin? Yeah, I think uh, SP uh, sustainability is part and parcel of our life. Um, we've been driving sustainability for a while. Um, it has started since Emerson actually emplaced equipment, you know, the digital sensors and all that. And then we allow our students to actually use them during their studies and during their projects. And so this will allow them to actually uh, have that sustainability mindset. So we hope that with that, when they go to the workplace, they can bring along such mindsets and become advocates of sustainability at their respective workplace. So we really thank Emerson for placing those equipments with us mm. and continuing this partnership with us. Yeah, wonderful. Talk, speaking about workplaces, all chemical plants now have environmental sustainability and energy efficiency goals. What other opportunities are there for SP and Emerson? Yeah, so actually, uh, SP works closely with the energy and chemical sector, uh, mm. the companies, uh, through internship and through capstone projects. Mm. And so during the internship, our students actually work on projects, solutioning projects with the companies, mm. identifying areas that they can actually contribute. Yeah. And so maybe with uh, Emerson's and Place equipment, we can also actually use this equipment and technologies like software to help companies improve their operations uh, so that it's more sustainable. Mm. So, uh, so when Emerson wanted to sign this, we really are. Uh, uh, really over the clock and uh, wanted to have this happen soon yeah. because I think this will allow us to really um, kind of challenge our students and give them that knowledge which we wouldn't be able to do ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be a partnership. Yeah. So Jonas, what are the opportunities there? The energy transitions, you know, moving from fossil fuels to hydrogen based fuels and adding carbon capture, all of these are really like long term uh, projects, you know. But uh, on, in the near term, there are many you know, uh, environmental sustainability and energy efficiency uh, projects that, that you can do. You know? uh, in using, for instance, uh, uh, software and, and, and sensors you know, mm. to, uh, to reduce uh, emissions, such as venting and flaring by monitoring uh, relief valves. Mm. You can reduce energy loss by uh, monitoring steam traps. Uh, you can improve energy efficiency by with uh, energy management uh, with greater uh, with submetering you know for, for, for greater granularity finer granularity uh, there is uh, uh, energy efficiency of equipment by monitoring equipment performance you know mm. uh, of uh, equipment like heat exchangers and cooling towers and air cooled heat exchangers you know that all uh, plants have you know and, and, and thereby you, you can now find the optimum time to to clean uh, the, these uh, equipment, you know, to restore their uh, performance. Okay? Mm. And this is just a few of the solutions which are available out there. And oh, by the way, as you know, you can see many of these solutions right here at the Singapore Polytechnic. Yeah, yeah definitely. Absolutely on that one. So Jonas, you mentioned that environmental sustainability and energy efficiency is close to Emerson's core values. What is Emerson doing for sustainability? Right. Okay. So uh, we have a kind of a three-pronged uh, approach to sustainability. It is um, uh, greening uh, of, greening by, and greening with Emerson. Okay. So greening of Emerson, you know, that is when uh, we improve the sustainability of our own factories and our own plants uh, around uh, the world. Okay. Uh, and then greening, 
by Emerson. That is when we help our customers improve the env environmental sustainability and energy efficiency of their plants, you know, using our, you know, technologies and solutions, you know. And lastly, is uh, greening uh, with Emerson is when we uh, collaborate with research uh, and academic institutions, just like we're doing with uh, Singapore Polytechnic, you know, for energy uh, efficiency and environmental sustainability right here today. Wow, that's good that Emerson is starting with your own businesses and then after that propagating to the others. That's I think right. that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. Right, Donlin, what about SP? What is SP's involvement in environmental sustainability and energy efficiency? Right, yeah. So in the journey started in 2016 when we started to um, look at digitalization for the industry uh, mm -hmm. as an effort to actually um, move towards decarbonization and energy efficiency. So in fact, earlier this year in April, we set up our Center for Environmental Sustainability and Energy Efficiency, yeah. in short, ESEE -E or EC in short. Yeah. So what this aim to do is that actually uh, it's a controversy uh, uh, wing which allows us to work with uh, companies uh, to help them transform. So our mandate has shifted in SP. We no longer just teach the 16 to 19 years old. Now it's really lifelong learning, adult learners, and also industry engagement. So through our industry engagement by our EC, we actually um, work with companies to see whether there are solutions that we can actually adopt and through partnership with Amazon and other partners we can adopt these technologies into the company so that they can um, embark on a more um, so-called uh, energy efficient state yeah so this is basically what SP is doing so we hope to continue this partnership with Amazon as well as build up a bigger alliance such that we can continue to serve the Singapore uh, nation and helping us to be more energy efficient in the long term yeah. Wow, hearing from both of you, those are amazing efforts by Singapore Polytechnic and Emerson. So thank you Jonas, thank you Tuan Lin. Um, I wish both organisations all the best uh, in this new partnership in creating a sustainable future for Singapore. Thanks guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.